Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Plus and today I will show you how we can boot this device into recovery mode. So, to get started we're gonna hold our power button and... Let's see, volume up? Nope. There we go. Power button and a volume down which will bring up our boot options and here you will simply select power off. When the device turns off, you want to hold your power button and volume up. There might be a case that we need to actually plug it in, but we'll see in a second. So I'm going to hold power button, volume up now. And either it's just going to boot up normally or it's going to boot up into recovery mode. We'll see which one is the case. So it's booting up normally. So I'm going to grab a cable. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to quickly turn off the device. So it looks like we do need the cable to actually boot it into recovery mode. Just a little bit of an annoyance. So power button and volume up. And for some reason it's on. Pretty sure I turned it off. Are you kidding me? Come on. So now that it's off, power button, volume up. And there we go. Now we can also unplug the cable. It was only needed to boot us into here. Now, in this mode, we will need to use volume buttons to navigate up and down. So volume down will obviously take us down and up, up. And power button will be used to confirm whatever is selected with this blue line. Now quickly going over the options that we have access to. Uh, we have reboot system now, which takes us back to Android. We have apply, uh, or what am I saying, apply. We have uh, reboot to bootloader, which I believe takes us to fast boot mode. This is Samsung, so there is no bootloader. Freedom is not an option here. Uh, apply updates from ADB. Uh, apply updates from SD card, wipe data or cache partition, mount system, view logs, run tests, power off or repair apps. And just to kind of showcase this. So you can see I'm navigating using the power uh, volume buttons and because I want to leave this mode, I'm going to stick with the first option, reboot system now, confirm it. And as you can see, it takes, takes me back. Or oh, really takes me back. Right now it's rebooting the device. Uh, right after that, it will boot up into the Android system. And there we go. So, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.